All Good Things is a love story about a young man who meets a woman in the 80s. Um, he is actually um, part of a very rich family, the Marx family. They own half of Times Square. And meanwhile, she's just like an average woman who wants to become a doctor. They fall in love, they get married. She realizes there's something wrong with her husband, though. He's very cold, he's got this weird backstory, and then she suddenly disappears. So the love story turns into a murder mystery. However, it's done in a sort of a flashback sort of thing. We see uh, um, Robert in the old man makeup, uh, present day being on trial. And then they sort of go through with voiceover, little clips of video stuff. The movie has a really interesting um, source material, the whole Durst uh, investigations, which was later uh, made into a six-episode documentary series called The Jinx. So this movie came first, and um, the story itself is more interesting than what happens in the movie. The movie is a pretty solid, um, like, murder mystery, but it doesn't really play up the sensational sort of... Um, it doesn't really play up the material, is what I mean. Um, it never sizzles. It sort of just is there. Solid performances from Ryan Gosling and Kristen Dunst, and as well as uh, Frank Langella, but the movie never, you know, goes into more than it could be. It's like a simple telling, solid acting, but the movie never shines, really. So I give uh, All Good Things a 6 out of 10.